Thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you're new here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to the family. And if you're returning, thank you so much for the love. I appreciate you guys. I'm so humbled by the support. Please continue to like my videos so that they make it out there on the search venues, um, on the search bars and everything for, for YouTube. It just means a lot to me. Um, so this is Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus love reading for November 8th through the 15th. Uh, before we get started on your love reading, I pulled three cards from my Work Your Light deck. Um, and I like this deck because I feel like it really gives us a connection to the soul, what we're going through on the inside. So I have Trust Your Path, Soul Family, and Boundaries. So what I'm feeling with these cards is, you know, I think some of you guys are going through a situation or have been on such a long journey, a uh, long road in regards to this situation that you are starting to doubt if you're going in the right direction and you're starting to doubt if things are ever going to get better. Like, when are you going to make it past that hump, okay? Um, Spirit is saying, you know, if you could just let go and really trust that that Spirit has you, you're still trying to control something, Pisces. You're still holding on to something and you're still trying to control something and that's why you're meeting such resistance, okay? Um, soul family, this is a reminder that you don't have to do this alone. There are people in your life that um, you connect to that really help guide you in certain situations and, um, you know, are there for you. And Spirit is telling you, you know, reach out to them, connect with them. And then you have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries in your life, even if it's with yourself? Okay, so Spirit is really asking you to take a look um, at where you are allowing others or yourself to um, cross your boundaries, okay? You don't want to do that. There's something, there's a situation right now that you're not happy with, okay? You're not happy with the situation right now and that's why Spirit wants you to double check your boundaries because I feel like you're being too giving somewhere. You're giving too much of your time and your energy to something that um, as much as you don't want to admit it, it doesn't deserve it, okay? Like it's either, you know, it's, it, it's, it's that has passed is what I'm feeling okay so um, let's get into your love reading and see what we have for Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus Holy Spirit what do we have for Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus in love November 8th through the 15th Sun Moon Rising and Venus for Pisces love connection November 8th through the 15th Okay. Of the Queen of Wands with the Five of Pentacles could be dealing with a fire sign. You don't have to be, or somebody that's very passionate and feisty, very intuitive. Could be somebody who um, you know does tarot readings or is into spirituality. Okay, very intuitive person. Queen of Wands, very passionate. But there's some healing there. This could be you really doing some inner work and inner healing regarding this situation, okay? Um, there's a couple. What am I seeing here? I have two kings and two queens. So. This situation needs healing. Whatever it is with this person, it's not going the way that you want it to be going. There could be zero communication. This person is very creative and passionate. I think that you admire um, this Queen of Wands very, very much. Um, very ambitious, okay? Very goal-oriented. Uh, but there's a very strong attraction as well. But there's been, you guys aren't talking, and there's been some some silence for a while or some separation. And the reason being is this two of pentacles. So this could be um, somebody was juggling. Somebody could have, you guys could have dated in the past, um, and there could have been another person, but I'm not really feeling that. I just feel like somebody had 
you know, just didn't know how to juggle life properly. Okay, that's what I'm feeling here, Pisces. They just didn't know how to juggle life properly. Um, but in the past, this was a very um, abundant connection. Uh, I feel like there was a lot of um, growth and creativity. There was a lot of nurturing. This was a stable con uh, condition, a stable uh, connection. And I think you want it back. We have the Knight of Cups here, which is you, Pisces. And it's like somebody's wanting to come in and offer their love. Somebody's wanting to come in and, you know, lay it out on the line. This is how I'm feeling. This is, you know, I, I miss you is kind of what I'm getting. But it's it might be met with resistance. I do have a couple here, though. Queen of Swords and King of Swords. But somebody, I feel like when you come in with this offer, Pisces, either you or the other person, so just place the energy where it belongs. But, and I'm going to say you, but when you come in with this offer, it's met with resistance. Not because they really don't want it. I think they're just kind of like, whoa, what's happening? They're very shocked. Okay. They're very shocked. And so it might be met with resistance to begin with. Now you might have somebody else, because here's the deal. I have two kings and two queens. So both of you may have somebody else, okay, Pisces? Or you have somebody else and they have something like that is going on where somebody's leaving somebody for this connection or wants to leave somebody. So you're going to come forward with this offer, Pisces, or they are, and it's going to be met with resistance. And then that kind of puts you in this icy feeling of kind of pulling back. But you're ready. Like, you've thought this through, Pisces. Let's, let me see. Holy Spirit, why is this Queen of Swords here? Why is this Queen of Swords here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Queen of Swords. Sagittarius and yeah, healing, balance. <sighs> you're trying to bring healing to something or that's what's going to happen. So if even if you're the one who pulls away, if you're the one that gets the offer, Pisces, and you're the one that pulls away or vice versa, if you give it and they pull away, Whoever pulls away, they're doing it because they just need to think about some things. They just need to really wrap their head around this, okay? They just need to wrap their head around this. This could be you. And you could have just really, you could have been thinking about this for a long time, Pisces. How am I going to bring healing to this? How am I going to... How am I going to connect with this person and 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 reconcile and bring this back to to peace? Okay. And so when when you're met with because you've been met with the walls are up, they're not. It's resistance. And so you have to pull back and and try to bring in some sort of healing. So let's see here. With the King of Cups as the outside energy. So I feel like this is you that goes into this, wanting to present this offer to the per this person the right way because you really want healing. Holy Spirit, why is, thank you, King of Cups, Six of Wands. So, wow. I feel like this is going to end up turning in your favor. Um, there is this person, this, hold on one second, and I'm so sorry. Girls, I need you to be quiet. My daughter has a sleepover, so I apologize. Um, King of Cups and Six of Wands. There's a lot. This person loves you. And I feel like the feelings are, I just opened the deck like this and it was to the Hierophant. So that's a commitment, declaration of love, marriage, engagement. Pisces, this is you. Yeah, no, they want this with you and you want this with them. I, they're just going to be shook. 
<laughs> they're just going to be shook when you come forward with this offer, okay? But we have the fool here with the king of swords, which is this couple, this husband, to the queen of swords. So um, I do see a new beginning. I, it's just a matter of, you know, of when. Holy Spirit, please clarify this king of swords. King of Swords for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love connection. Thank you. Ooh, how many cards is that? Okay, that's good. So King of Swords. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So this is somebody from your past. And the King of Swords is the outcome because, like I said, somebody has to think about this because there's been some heartbreak in the past, Okay. And they're a little bit confused and they just want to weigh out all their options. But the outcome is the Four of Swords. So the outcome is stability and that married life and that, you know, that whole situation. So I do feel like... I do feel like this is going to end the way that you want it to end. I'm just feeling like it's very slow. I'm feeling like it's very slow. Let's see, I wanna see, why is the Seven of Wands here? Holy Spirit, why is the Seven of Wands here? Pisces, I'm realizing. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's the same, they're going to give me the same energy. It's the same thing. The chariot and the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles. Somebody's very closed off, but you're moving towards a victory here with the chariot. Okay? So you could be dealing with another water sign um, or an earth sign. Okay? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, it, it, they just need time to think about it. Okay? They just need time to think about it because they see it. They do see the victory with you. They do see the long run with you, Pisces. Um, I think they're just going to be taken aback and very shocked um, at the offer that's coming through. But they do want that with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three of Cups. Okay. They're wanting this. You just Six of Pentacles here. This is the Four of Cups on the bottom. This is them opening up. Okay. Okay. With the Three of Cups as well. So this is celebration so i do see you guys uh moving forward i just don't know if it'll be by the 15th so maybe we can come back um after the 15th and see what's going on see where this connection is going this is all that i'm getting for you guys today thank you so much pisces um if you're interested in a personal reading check out my etsy link below there should have been something that came up in the video throughout this reading uh prices are 35 dollars for 30 minutes i always go over 30 minutes prices go up november 15th 60 dollars for 30 minutes so make sure you book before november 15th so that you can uh, get the original price of 35 dollars. love you guys so much and i'll see you next week bye